So the Columbia Classics 4K Collection Volume 1. I'm about halfway through it now. I've watched three movies that were probably the biggest draws for me. The first one I watched is probably the biggest reason that I bought it because the regular Blu-ray I think needed an upgrade pretty bad. And that's a League of Their Own. It's, the regular Blu-ray is not terrible, but when you compare it to this, it looks a little dark, kind of murky. The audio was the biggest problem for me. But the thing that stood out to me the most in this was when they're walking down the tunnel toward the tryouts. And the lights on the top of the of the tunnel are just washing over their backs. It's just very crisp, very clear. And then the rest of it looks like you're in a cinema watching it on a big screen, which is probably why I thought, did I see this in the theater? I couldn't quite remember, because it looks like that's what I'm doing, so it's, it's sort of bringing up those memories. But that doesn't mean that I actually did. But this is well worth it, well worth the pickup. So the next one that I watched doesn't really need any introduction. Um, and it's always looked absolutely gorgeous, but on this one, it's even more gorgeous if that's even possible. Lawrence of Arabia, which is on two discs because that's gonna get to the highest quality possible. The first disc, I think part, because I think part one is longer, longer by, I haven't really timed it, but probably I think by about an hour or so, then part two, and then of course all the special features are on the regular Blu-ray, which is kind of standard right now. But this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it's always looked gorgeous but now that we have it on 4k and it's scanned in really big it's just even better so there's that one and then third one i watched watched it uh last night i believe it's dr strange love I know I saw this one in the theater because a few years ago, SIF did a Stanley Kubrick festival. I went and saw this with my mom and my sister. My sister hadn't seen it yet. This looks like that. Big and beautiful. And of course, the cinematography is nice. That's one thing that 4K really brings out with things that were shot on film is the cinematography and just how it really accentuates how nice that is. And so, like with Lawrence of Arabia, it really accentuates, you know, depth. When done well, in ways that it looks like you're in the cinema. So, those ones, those are the three I've watched so far. I've yet to watch uh, Gandhi, Jerry Maguire, and Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, at least on 4K. Mr. Smith. I'll have to admit, I did watch Mr. Smith going to Washington, goes to Washington uh, when I first got it, but I didn't have my 4K TV yet, so I just watched the regular Blu-ray. So it's kind of tough to find this set now. Uh, maybe on eBay you can get it for way too much money. Uh, some people are selling the individual films, so if you want that, you know, you could get some of them for actually a pretty good price, like $20, $30. They sell them for about the normal price, which is good. Uh, this one I got from Canada. It's unavailable there, too. Uh, but I got it from there because I one, I missed out here, but that's fine because it was cheaper from them. After tax, it was a little bit less than it was in this country before tax. So, anyway, I will get going on watching the, the other three, because I really like Mr. Smith Goes to Washington when I watched that, because I'll admit I did watch that one. 
I just didn't have my 4K TV yet, so I didn't watch it in 4K. And I'm not... I mean, Jerry Maguire's not my all-time favorite, but whatever. I'm fine with it being in there. And actually, so I took the poll that Sony has up on their website for what you would like to see in a potential volume two. Um, I know that I voted for the Kane Mutiny. I think that would be that would be really nice. That would be a really cool addition. But I was thinking about two other movies that I think would be really nice in if not volume two, another upcoming volume. Now these are also two I don't think need an upgrade really, really bad, but again, they were shot on film and 4K does great things for film and especially for the cinematography. And so the movies I was thinking of, Silverado, this has some really, really nice cinematography in it. And the other one is A River Runs Through It, which in my opinion is the greatest movie ever made. This one, again, already looks beautiful, but to see this in 4K would just be wonderful. Okay, so those are a couple of movies I'd like to see, if not in volume two, at least in another upcoming volume. You know, let me know what you think should be in one. Columbia has a lot of really good stuff. All right, so I'll get going on watching these other, on these other movies in 4K, and then I will talk about those. All right, thank you.